Kamala borrowed 26,400 rupees from a bank to buy a scooter at the rate of 15 percentage per annum compounded yearly. What amount will she pay at the end of two years, four months to clear the loan? So first of all, we're going to calculate amount for two years. Then after that, we're going to calculate amount for remaining four months. So compounded yearly for that yearly means we don't need to change rate of interest. If it is a half year means rate of interest is also by two. So no need to change. First of all, let's take what is the principal amount. That is principal will be equal to 26,400. Then rate of interest will be equal to 15 percentage per annum per annum then time duration will be two years four months so first of all we have to calculate for two years then we're going to calculate remaining for the uh, four months so amount for so amount for two years amount for two years that is a will be so p into one plus r by a hundred whole per n so Let's take amount will be equal to P is what 26,400 into 1 plus rate of interest will be 15 by 100 whole square. So 26,400 into 100 plus 15 by 100 whole square. So you can do one thing 26,400 first of all calculate this is 115 by 100 whole square. So what we can do here is we can cancel with with the so with 5 5 2 is a 0 then 5 2 is a 10 then 1 5 5 3 is a 15 so 23 by 20 that is 26400 into 23 whole square by 20 whole square so what you can get it here is 26400 into 23 whole square by 20 whole square so that is only our previous one. So let's take 26,400 by 20 into 20. That is 2 to the 4, 400. So 20 square is 400 into 23 whole square. So 23, 26, this one, what you can do here is, let's take two zeros, two zeros will go to cancel. Then 4 ones are, 4 six are, 24, again 2 will be, so 2, 6, 24, that is 66 into 23 whole square will be equal to 529, so 529, then what you will get, so 529 into 66 will be 34,900, so 34,914, this is the amount for 2 years only, so after 2 years, so amount after after two years four months is calculated so amount this amount amount two years the amount for two years will be equal to principal plus principal for next four months next four months so what is the principal now so calculating principal is 34914 then 4 months means rate of interest is also 15 percentage then 4 months means we have to go with only simple interest why because it is below 1 year 4 months converted this into years 4 by 12 1 4 ones are 4 threes are that is 1 by 3 years so let's calculate simple interest so simple interest will be equal to btr by 100 so, P is what? 34,914. T will be 1 by 3 into R will be 15 by 100. 3 ones are, then 3 fives are. So, what you will get here is into 5. So, what you will get? So, 17. So, 17. That is 17, 4, 5, 7, 0 by 100. So, you will get 17, 4, 5 point, 1,740 point. 45.70 this is simple interest but this is not amount that amount amount after four months so amount amount for two years and four months will be equal to total amount that is amount a1 plus 
simple interest that is principal plus simple interest so what is the principal the principal will be 34914 and simple interest will be 1745.7 so this one will going to calculate then you will get 36659.7 so this is the value thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if not to subscribe please subscribe and hit the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss that is 12th one Bharati borrows an amount of 12,500 rupees at 12 per, 12 percentage per annum for 3 years at simple interest so we simple interest formula we have to move on this Madhuri borrows the same amount for the same time period at rate of interest 10 percentage per annum compounded annually so here compounded amount that we have to calculate who pays more interest and by how much how much means from here we have to take difference so let's take the bharati sign so bharati values you can take it as so what is the principal amount that is 12500 rupees then 12 percentage rate of interest will be 12 percentage and time will be equal to three years so what is the amount formula so what amount the principal amount will be equal to principal plus simple interest so principal is what 12500 plus PTR by 100 PTR by 100 so you can take it as 12500 plus P is what 12500 into time is 3 into rate of interest 12 by 100 so do one thing here two zeros two zeros will going to cancel then so 12500 plus 125 into 12 3 is 30 6 so that is the value that is 12500 plus 125 into 36 what value will get it that is 4500 that amount will be equal to so 12500 plus 4500 you will get 17000 rupees by Bharati next borrows so Madhuri so by Madhuri what is that so Madhuri bought same same amount Madhuri bought same amount that is principal will be equal to 12500 but rate of interest is 10 percentage and time is also 3 years that one you can take it as compounded annually directly we are going to calculate so Madhuri amount will be equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 whole power N so here what is that principal will be equal to 12500 into rate of interest will be 10 by 100 whole power 3 so let's take 12500 into 100 plus 10 by 100 whole power 3 so that is 12500 12500 12500 into 110 by 100 whole cube so let's take 110 by 100 what you can take it here is so you can cancel this one so with 5, 5 to the 10, then 0, then 5 to the 10, then 5 to the 10. So 12,500 into 22 cube by 20 cube. So you can do one thing here is, so 12,500 into 22, 22 by 10. Or you can take it as 22 by 20 whole cube. So 2 11s are then 2 10s are. So 12,500 into 11 cube by 10 cube, that is 12,500 by 10 cube will be thousands. So into 11 cube, then what is that? 12,500 by thousands into 11 cube. So you can cancel this one. So what three zeros is there, right? From three places we have to cross. That is 12.500 into 11 cube. So 12.500 into 11 cube. So 11 cube is what? So that is 1000, 12.5 into 1331 into what is that? 12.5. So let's take this one will be 16637.5. So this amount by Madhuri amount. So Madhuri amount is 16637.5. Then what is the Bharati amount? So Bharati amount will be equal to will be equal to seventeen thousands. So who need to pay more? So Bharati need to pay. 
So Bharati amount is more, so that Bharati need to need to pay more amount. Need to pay more amount. How much means you have to take difference? So difference will be equal to what is that? That is seventeen thousands minus sixteen thousand six hundred and thirty seven point five. So seventeen thousands. So seventeen thousand minus sixteen thousand six hundred and thirty seven point five. That one will be equal to three sixty two point five rupees extra she need to pay. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. In this model, we are going to discuss that is thirtieth question. Machinery worth ten thousand depreciated by five percent base. Find its value after one year. So for this, we can go with simple interest or compound interest. So first of all, we are going to go with simple compound interest. That is, let's take depreciation means this is subtraction. So subtraction we have to take from the amount. So what is the value? Amount will be equal to that is principal into one. One minus R by hundred whole power n. So here minus y because it's not increasing, it is decreasing. So what is that? So n will be equal to one. Then principal will be ten thousands. One minus R will be equal to five by hundred whole power one. So ten thousands into hundred minus five by hundred. You can take like that. So ten thousands into ninety five by hundred. So let's take two zeros. Two zeros will go to cancel. Then what you'll get? Ninety-five into hundred. That is nine thousand five hundred rupees. So we can solve like this, or you can go with another method. As let's take. So you can go with another one. You can go with simple interest formula. From that principle, that is amount will be equal to. A will be equal to principal minus simple interest. Why? Because here depreciation for that we should not add. So simple interest will be equal to PTR by hundred. So here what is the P? Ten thousands into time is one year and rate of interest will be five. Then what will be two zeros? Two zeros will going to cancel. So here hundred into five that is five hundred. 500 rupees. Then what is the amount? That is, after one year, what amount will be equal to P minus SI. So principal is 10 thousands minus simple interest is 500. Then what you'll get 9,500 rupees. Like this also you can solve. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. So in this model, we're going to discuss that is 14.1. Find the population of a city after two years, which is at present 12 lakhs. The rate of increase is four percentage. So what that given n will be equal to two years. That given then population initially present principal. You can take it as a present one twelve lakhs. So twelve lakhs means so twelve lakhs. Then what is the rate of interest is increasing four percentage. It is increased. So compounded annually. That one we can take it as. Amount will be equal to principal into one plus r by hundred whole power n. So this is the one. So amount will be equal to principal is twelve lakhs. Twelve lakhs into one plus r is what? Four by hundred whole square n n square. So why? Because two years. Then twelve lakhs. So twelve lakhs into hundred plus four by hundred whole square. So you can take it as twelve lakhs into one out four, one out four by hundred whole square. So you can take like this. Then twelve lakhs into one out four whole square by hundred square. So for this, what you can do it take it as so twelve lakhs, twelve lakhs into one out four whole square by Hundred square. That is hundred square will be twelve. Twelve lakhs into one out four whole square by hundred square is hundred remaining two zeros. So here four zeros here four zeros will going to cancel. That is one twenty into one out four whole square. What is meant by one out four whole square is one out four whole square will be equal to one twenty into ten thousand eight hundred and sixteen. 
So, 10,816 will be 120 will be equal to 1297920. That is 12,97,920 people or the population will be. So, population will be equal to 12,97,920 members at the. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hello viewers, in this model we are going to calculate that is calculate compound interest on 1000 rupees over a period of 1 year at 10 percentage per annum if interest is compounded quarterly. So what is meant by quarterly? So we should know what is meant by quarter. Quarter means 1 by 4. So in a 100, what is a quarter? That is 1 by 4 into 100, you will get 25. So if you add 25 4 times then you will complete 100. So 1 by 4 times. For year, how many? For 1 year, 1 by 4 we should. So quarterly means 1 by 4 times it is repeated. So for rate of interest, what is the principle here? That is 10, 1000 and rate of interest 10 percentage per annum. But here compounded quarterly, that is rate of interest will going to change and n will be equal. So, n will be equal to 4. Why? Because quarterly means 4 as, as I told. Rate of interest is also will going to change. So, 10 percent is per annum but 10 by 4. 4 times it is a in one year 4 times it is repeating. That is uh, what you will get? 2 fives are then 2 twos are 5 by 2 percentage. So, let us take the amount will be equal to that is principal into 1 plus r by 100 whole power n. That is 1000 into 1 plus r is 5 by 2 whole divided by 100 whole. So, what is that? 4. So, 1000 into 1 plus what you are getting here is 5 by 2. We are taking it as 5 by 2 into that whole power 4. So, whole power 4. We can take it as 1000 into 1 plus 5 by 200 whole power 4. That is 1000 into 200 plus 5 by 200 whole power 4. So, here you will take it as 1000 into 1000 into 205 by 200, 205 by 200 whole power 4. So, let us uh, cancel with 5. 5 4s are, then 5 4s are, then 1s are. Then what you can take it as here 1000 into 41 whole power 4 by 40 whole power 4. So, 41 whole power 4, so 1000 into 41 whole power 4 will be equal to 2825761 whole divided by, so for into 4 means 40 we have to divide with 4 times, that is the case. So, 2560000, then 1000 into 2528. 2, 5, 7, 6, 1, whole divided by 2, 5, 6, double, 0, double, 0, what you will get here is 1.1038, that will be equal to 1000 into, the answer will be equal to 1103.8, 1103.8, that is the amount, then what is that? Compounded interest. Then compound interest will be equal to amount minus principal. What is the amount here? 1103.8 minus. What is the principal? Thousands. So that will be equal to so thousand that is 103.8 rupees. So compounded interest will be that one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and please share with your friends.